experimental TV and we're going to make some noise with the Geos boys. It's Robbo and Marley. Hello, fellas. Hello, mate. You alright? Yeah, you good. Hi, John, mate. You alright? Yeah. Okay. So, what's going on in your world at the moment? Uh, producing, DJing, you name it, we're doing it. Are you going, you going all over? Yeah, pretty much. Got Bristol tomorrow night. Um, I don't know, Marley knows most of it, to be honest. He doesn't tell me until the next day. <laughs> uh, are, you, are you the bookings, man? Uh, Milton Keynes next Friday, and Birmingham next Saturday. And of course, don't forget, we got our track on the True Hardcore album. Uh, well, I'm glad you mentioned that, because I was going to come to that next. True Tonight, track. it's all about True Hardcore. Tell us a little bit about your tunes on the album. Well, Lift Me Up's on there, isn't it? The remix for Jeff Label, THC, okay. and Lift the Music. It's on our own remix. Okay. And, and how did those tracks come about? Uh, well, the Lift the Music track we done quite a while ago, didn't we? And um, Sign so so Unknown done a remix this year. And it's on obviously on their mix on the album, which is great. And uh, the Lift Me Up remix we done with Gamma is obviously on THC, which I think's released on vinyl now, I'm not too it sure. Is. Yep, it's out now. Yeah. And that's on obviously uh, Supreme's mix as well, which is great. Okay, and what, at the moment, not, not necessarily including yourselves, what would you say is your big tune at the moment? Um, I'd say a new one, Bass Rider. That's my favourite at the moment. Definitely. Well, there's a few. I mean, Robert's done a few on his own that have been big, big tunes. Live, uh, listen to your heart, which was a tune that Robbo done. Um, Don't forget these days. Yeah. Um, Obviously, look at all the ravers and the, which was the MC based tunes that we've done. And of course, the ones that are on the album. They're, they're you know, they're, they're, they're anthem type tunes, which is wicked. Okay. Now, how? Generally, obviously, talking about the scene in general, you're not just a producer, are you? You also MC, you play. Do you find it difficult to juggle them all? Do you have a particular favourite task? A label and an event, yes, yeah, it's, it's difficult, mate. <laughs> it is very difficult. Are you, are you often run off your feet? I mean, how's your week, generally? Um, hectic, mate, to be honest. And it's difficult to find time to fit everything in. I mean, not really doing anything on the event front because I'm just so busy with everything else. I mean, music. And the DJ and the MC is obviously the the main thing, which is what we want to do. Um, so it's just trying to fit fit everything else around that. Really, I mean the label is obviously important, but as you know yourself, it's a time-consuming. Uh, you know, and it takes a lot of time, and it's. But you know, we, we, we're getting there. I mean, we've only done four releases. This is electric, obviously. We've only done four releases, but we've got about 24 releases waiting to come out. It's just finding the time. And, and you've got 90. Yeah. In, in there. So what was that, son? 24. 24 releases? Absolutely, yeah. Are you doing anything with Mr. Knight? He hates me. We haven't yet, no. <laughs> but I, I, I would like to, yeah. It's I'd on like the cards. Have, but yeah, I mean, he's, he's done a few decent, wicked MC based tunes recently. They've been really good. So. You get me. He's only an up and coming. <laughs> you get me. He's only an up and coming, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That brings me to my next question, actually. If you boys could put on a night, pick the ultimate lineup, who would be on it? What, hardcore only? Or, or whatever. whatever. I don't know. You, you. <laughs> and Robbo. Yeah. I don't know. To be honest with you, you know, the way the scene is at the moment, events-wise and music-wise, I don't, I don't think you can get much better than what's being done at the moment. Everybody that's doing it now. Yeah. The music's first class. The albums are brilliant. The DJs are superb. The MCs are, are just like you know the best in the business, mate. Do you think the scene's at its prime at the moment? I think it's definitely close. Yeah. Because yeah. it's, it's, it's been up and it's been. Down, it's I mean, we, we've been doing it for like 15 years. And I don't think I've ever seen it as popular as it is now for a long time. A long I mean, time. How many people do you reckon are in the Opera House tonight? Thousands. I don't know how many, but there's a lot of people out there. So what are you boys, are you on a bit later or have you been on? Or? I am seeing in a minute, yeah, in about 20 minutes with uh, Supreme and Sunset Regime. Catch a little bit of footage of that shortly. Um, we're not DJing tonight, no, but... No? No, nah, not off tonight. Just enjoying the beer? Enjoying the beer tonight, mate, yeah. That's right. Here at a Opera House. First time hardcore back in the Opera House for a very long time. Bournemouth, South Coast Rovers having it. HDID versus Experimental. MC Marley in the house. DJ Robert from the Geos crew. John Brown. Everybody seeing John Brown, right. <laughs> Let's have some questions for John Brown. John Brown, so what are you saying about the hardcore scene now? I'm saying that it's brilliant at the moment. I agree with you boys. We've got all the right people involved and it's getting bigger and bigger every day and I'm proud to be part of it. From an outsider, I've got, I've got to say, when it comes to doing press releases and seriously, <laughs> seriously advertising the product, I've not met anyone in the business better than you, mate. Seriously, <laughs> your press releases are the don, mate. <laughs> no, but, no, but seriously, from an outsider, because you're not really a hardcore boy, are you? Like hardcore, 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 love hardcore, hardcore till we die. 
But from an outsider, John, and coming into it for the last year or two, what do you think about RC? I love this scene so much. Actually, to be honest, it, it's vibrant. You know, everyone's everyone's friend. You all get along. It's an amazing scene. They're, every music scene has its own little collective. But with hardcore, it seems to be global, and e everyone loves a bit of hardcore. Everyone, you know, and that's cool. But I'm going to ask another question. We're going to go with this one. Favorite hardcore track of all time. Too many to mention, mate. Sorry, I can't do it. Of all time, it's a hard one. But my favorite, favorite ever dance track of all time. Don't know what it was. I do know what it was called, but I can't remember. But it was a tune. One of my first ever raves. It used to go. It's in there. It's in there. Ay, ay, oh. It's in there. Don't know what it was called. Ramos will tell you. But my favorite tune at the minute is. Turn to me. Awesome fucking track. Okay, and yours? Uh, I think it's got to be songs of the loop, the loop, far out. Ah, good choice, man. Good choice. Well, boys, we're going to catch you a bit later on. But right now, I'm going to move on inside. Let's see what's going on on the stage. It's the experimental TV.